Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula, home of the Husky community and your number one stop for everything you ever need to know about Siberian Huskies. Dude, today is the day the fence is finally built. That means we're about to go outside and it's gonna be the grand tour. Both of the Siberian Huskies for the very first time are about to go outside and just run freely on over four acres of land. Are you guys excited? You are? You ready to go right now? You wanna just dive into it? You wanna do it? Come on, let's go! I really can't wait for you guys to see this. It's gonna be flippity-doo insane. Are you ready? Are you ready? Get your collars on? You're not naked, are you? All right. And you're off. <laughs> Look at that. And they're gone. Forever. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here is the finished fence on the property. I mean, it goes all the way to there with the privacy fence. It's looking amazing. And then we got a field fence all the way over here. So let's go catch up with the Huskies and see how they like it. <laughs> here comes Hila. Come on, missus. Come on. You're so cute. Come here, big boy, Britney Spears, come on. Yeah. But look how great the fence looks. This is just, it turned out really, really good. Oh, there they go. Goodbye. Sha -sha, sha -sha, sha -sha. So one of the whole things about being out here with the dogs and allowing them to run free is that I really have to watch for wildlife and kind of keep my eye out for that sort of thing because there are snakes, there's turtles. I mean, you name it. There's a lot of stuff out here. So it looks flipping great. This is just a four foot field fence and it does have a little bit of extra clearance on the top. So there's a little bit of ad added height and then we have some barbed wire over the top of it so that nobody can enter the 60 formula ranch. So going back here, here's the wooded area and the people who built the fence just went ahead and cleared all of this out. So they took a tractor through here before when I bought this property, none of this was really cleared out yet. <laughs> there's the Huskies. <laughs> it's, it's funny cause I'll be walking back here. There they go right through there. I'll be walking back here and I won't even see them and all of a sudden just pop, there they are. And this is like basically their favorite part through here. Nature time, nature. Mama, are you going poo poo over here? Oh, you're both poop, this is a, oh, I'm so sorry, simultaneous pooping. I can't tell you the feeling, like how good it feels to have my Huskies be able to freely go wherever they want on such a huge piece of land, I mean, basically anywhere places where I can't even see them anymore it just it makes my soul happy and my heart full because huskies they just deserve to run as much as they want explore and we come from you know we, you got to build your way up we started in a small little house with basically no room for these huskies a little baby backyard and we've moved up it's taken a while it hasn't been easy these dogs are almost five years old now Gila's gonna be five next month britney spears in october so it just takes a while now finally i'm able to give them exactly what they want which is it's really great out of there yeah come get treats come get treats good boy sit good mama can you speak one more time can you speak speak good girls there you go can you do me a favor can you speak be a big boy speak Good boy. So if you've been watching the channel, you know we got chickens. They have a coop. I built the whole thing. We're about to go check it out. But before we do, I just want to let you guys know the intro to the video because today we're going to be talking about do you really want a Siberian Husky? The worst parts about owning one. Now, just in case you're interested in getting a Siberian Husky, and this is the kind of dog that you want to be doing, like you made up your mind, this is, you want one of those fluffy booties in your house and you, there's no, no change in your mind, double P action, then here's all the bad things, like basically all the negative things that you need to know when you're gonna get a Siberian Husky because there's a lot of stuff that goes into owning one of these dogs. And I know on this channel it looks like fun.com, but sometimes it can be a lot. So let's go over all of the things. And on the way, we'll go and check out the chickens because it's Gila's favorite thing. Number one is that Siberian Huskies, they require a lot of exercise. They really do. And you can get away with doing walks and all that. But frankly, it was so much for me that I ended up getting two Huskies because I couldn't entertain one all the time. So getting two Huskies helps a little bit, 
a little bit, but you're gonna have to pump it out. I'm talking bike rides, walkies, runnies, going to the park, all this stuff on a regular basis. It's not gonna be easy. If you wanna get a high energy working breed dog, you gotta be, you gotta expect to do those things. Now there are ways around it, like if you're in a wheelchair, maybe you have a disability, there are ways to exercise with your dog without having to get up and use your legs. You, you can use chuckets, but you gotta make sure that you have a lot of land and that you can find a park if you don't own land because these dogs will become lazy, they will get fat, and it will make them unhealthy and shorten their life expectancy. So what you're looking at right here is the chicken coop. This is the brand new house where all the chickens live. Gila's like, yeah, I know where all the McChicken nuggets come from. So they're all sleeping in here right now, and we come back around here, and this is where we get all the eggs. Now my chickens aren't laying eggs yet. It's gonna take about four to five more months before they lay an egg. What's up, big man, you like chickens? You want some chicken eggs? You want to make chicken, bro? So once they're ready, I mean, we're gonna be like full of eggs. So this little thing right here, I just pull on it. And boom, come on out. Good morning. Good morning, hello. Welcome to the land. <laughs> And Gila just freaks out. She's like, how do I get to them? You can't, baby girl. They're protected by a giant house made of steel. Well, you can tell they're hungry this morning. Both the huskies and the chickens. Everybody's ready to just eat something. <laughs> so what's cool about this chicken coop is that we can go on in. This brings me to the second negative thing about Siberian Huskies is that they have a crazy high prey drive. Anything that's small, lizards, frogs, reptiles, chicks, chickens, they want to tear it apart. And it's not in a angry, aggressive way either. Most of the time, they just wanna play with the animal, but they wanna play too rough, and that's just, it compromises the life of what other animal you got. So if you're someone who likes to, you know, have chickens, have other small animals, but you also want a Siberian Huskies, Husky. Maybe you have a cat, maybe you got lots of cats, but you want a husky. Cats and huskies, totally possible. Chickens and huskies, totally possible, but you need to train them. You have to train your huskies to be around these types of animals, and it takes time and it takes patience. So number two, just remember Siberian huskies do have a high prey drive. They're not the best type of dog to have when you have a lot of little animals around your home. Unless you're up for the training, take that into consideration. All right, chickadoos. Goodbye. Come on. Enough of the chickens. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, let's go, mama. Dang, look at Gila looking all cute in the flowers. Look at you. Look at these little wildflowers. You're looking all pretty. Look at that little cinnamon bun booty. Look at you. You're looking all good. You're looking all good and pretty. Have you missed the Britney Spears? So number three, this is the number three thing that is kind of annoying about Siberian Huskies. They have a lot of floof. And I mean, it gets everywhere. So if you don't like cleaning up fur, if hair is not your thing, do not get a Siberian Husky. All they do is shed. And people say, well, how many times a year do they shed? Well, they shed like a megaton twice a year. It's called blowing their coat. But besides that, they shed all year long. It never stops. You're gonna have floof all over your sofa and forget black clothing. It's not gonna work anymore. If you like black fabrics, it's out the door because your Husky's hair is going to make it look insane. Same. So just remember, if you're gonna get a Siberian Husky, you gotta you gotta think about that fur stuff. That hair is gonna be everywhere, bruh. Number four, Siberian Huskies are escape artists. They know how to escape any situation. So it's really wise when you get them as a puppy, buy some baby gates, really limit their access to all the different rooms. Huskies can jump over extremely tall fences. They can get under a really tight cracks. So you really have to make sure you're watching them as a puppy and teaching them that going under things and hopping over things is not acceptable behavior. Magically, we're warped inside the house right now with Britney Mick Spears. What's up, dude? And last but not least on the list, number five, and this is a hard one. It's pretty obvious. Eventually, you are going to outlive your Siberian Husky, which means you are going to have to live through experiencing letting your Husky go. Eventually, they're gonna get old. They may catch a disease. Something can happen and eventually your Siberian Husky is gonna pass away. It's part of life, but it's really hard. 
and some people just aren't really willing to go through that with an animal. It's stressful, puts a lot of stress on your life, causes a lot of heartbreak, so you gotta think about that. If you're gonna get yourself an animal, especially a Siberian Husky, you have to be responsible all the way till the end, and that means helping them cross that rainbow bridge. So just keep that in mind. It's not something we like to talk about on the channel, but you gotta talk about it, bruv. It's on that list. But with that said, those are the only bad things, the only negative things about owning a Siberian Husky. All the rest of it is the best thing ever. Guess what, dudes? We are on the road to a million subscribers. We have officially passed 900,000 subs. Oh my God, it's craziness. If you haven't subscribed yet, please, from the bottom of our little furry farts, consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on all of the fun and you learn a whole bunch of stuff when it comes to Siberian Huskies. We had a blast with you guys today. We hope you guys like the fence. The Huskies love it. They're ready to eat some dinner. You gonna let them eat some dinner? Yeah, I know you does. I, yeah, I see you. I see you. I see the little face. So until next time, please help us get to that million subscriber mark. Smash that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And we'll see you next time with another episode of Guess What, Bro? Yeah, whatever we make. <laughs> yeah, good, good boy. Peace. scooby dee ba 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 ba